What I've taken to doing as, as an artist is, and hence where the, the title comes from, Itinerant Edens, this kind of, this notion of an itinerant worker where I go to different locations, I'm given, um, you know, thousands of pounds of clay and on site I build these, these uh, Edenic environments that are housed in, in plastic. There's a scrim of plastic that comes down around them and of course there's plastic clay, it's 30% water, so when you enclose it, you add light, you get he heat and you get evaporation and condensation. So these pieces become these kind of encapsulated biospheres that have their own weather system. Usually when I'm making these pieces, I reach a, I can fuss with them for a long time. And, um, and then there's a point where I run out of time and, and my gauge is usually that, okay, it's not embarrassing, it's okay. And I guess one, one way I could look at, at this and, and is, uh, is I wanna stop, I wanna stop working on it at some point where you can still imagine it being mutable, being changeable somehow, that, uh, you know, it's, that's either in a, it's in a sort of, perhaps still in a state of becoming at some point. So I don't want to, you know, do too much to it. You know.